In the age of digital media, how much is a Super Bowl ad worth? For some businesses, the question is rather, can they afford not to be seen? Last year's Super Bowl drew over 114 million viewers. The audience size surged to nearly 121 million during a dramatic fourth quarter, making that game the most watched show in US TV history. Signs are pointing toward continuing strong interest. Over 53 million fans tuned in to watch the AFC Championship game between the Broncos and the Patriots last Sunday, the highest rated telecast since last year's Super Bowl. Advertisers are going to be spending as much as $5 million for a 30 second spot during the February 7th game between the Carolina Panthers and the Denver Broncos. By comparison, mounting a major campaign on YouTube can cost about $500,000 a day. Ad prices for the Super Bowl have gone up as much as 75% during the past decade. Even so, several businesses are launching ambitious marketing campaigns around the Super Bowl. Social Finance, an online lender, will ramp up a $20 million TV and digital campaign with a spot during the big game. His mom thinks he's great. She's wrong. She's great. 20% of SoFi's annual ad budget is being spent on the Super Bowl push. Picture this, we open on you. You're driving in a beautiful car up a snowy mountain road. Past Super Bowl advertisers such as Kia Motors and Guild on Activewear say they've seen substantial spikes in sales directly following ads played during the big game. But there are no guarantees. Bud Light's ad last year about a real-life game of Pac-Man didn't boost the beer maker out of a sales funk. 